Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. So in the first video of Selenium ID, we have seen what are the features of Selenium ID and we uh, added the Selenium ID plugin to our Chrome and we created a sample uh, test case and we executed a sample test case using the Selenium ID. So today uh, we are going to learn more about this cross browser execution and how we can do the cross browser execution using command line runner okay so this command line runner is nothing but that is an entity which help you to run your test on any browser bar os combination in a parallel way okay suppose if you're creating a project in selenium id and you want to execute that using any of the uh, command line or using any batch file you can use the command line runner for doing that uh, batch file execution okay so let's see how we can do that for that you, you can go to selenium uh, id portal okay so inside that if you scroll down you can see cross browser execution will be there okay so just click on this command line runner okay so here it will uh, show you the steps for uh, uh, getting the selenium uh, sorry command line runner and how you can use the command line runner for executing your uh, scripts so you can now run all your selenium id tests on any browser in parallel and on a grid without needing to write any code okay so this uh, command line runner will help to run your uh, uh, project or uh, the test suite uh, if you if you are required to run it in a uh, parallel way that you can do or if you want to uh, use some particular browser for execution that also you can do and if you want to integrate that with any of the grid that that can also be achieved using this a command line runner okay so what we have to do is so this is the command for executing the uh, project using the uh, command line runner so selenium side runner and uh, we have to give the project name project dot side okay so if you give that what are the uh, test cases that is uh, uh, given inside the test suite those test cases will get a uh, execute okay so what are the prerequisites for executing that so for that we have to get the node.js the node.js programming language version 8 or 10 we need to install in our machine then npm that is nothing but the node.js package manager which typically gets installed with the node okay so suppose if you are installing node means uh, it will this npm will get automatically installed along with this uh, node and the next thing is a uh, selenium uh, side runner okay so this is the uh, command line runner and the browser dri driver we want to use use for the uh, execution okay so uh, for getting the node.js what you can do is either you can go to uh, google and uh, just search for a uh, node it will go to this uh, node.js.org okay so from there you can download the latest version of uh, the node.js okay or uh, if you have installed this brew in your system using this also you can uh, install the node.js okay so here you can see the step for that uh, here there is a documentation that is providing uh, for installing the uh, node.js using the home drive okay so uh, that part is available here and let's see how we can uh, do that so once you have installed this uh, uh, node this npm will get automatically installed right so using that npm we have to install this selenium side runner okay so let me show you that how we can do that so for that i'm going to command prompt okay so let me check whether uh, node is installed in my machine so for that i'm going to type npm yes it's uh, installed my machine uh, okay so this is a path for the node.js okay so program files node.js okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just copy copying this particular command for installing the selenium uh, site runner okay so npm space install space hyphen g space selenium hyphen side hyphen runner okay so let me click on enter then it will start installing the selenium uh, side runner in your uh, machine 
okay so let it install in our machine what is the next step so the next step is installing a uh, browser driver if you want to run your test locally there is some additional setup required for each browser okay so if there is no prompt driver uh, available with you you can just execute this npm uh, space install uh, space hyphen g chrome driver or if you want to install some other driver you can follow these below steps okay so uh, here you can see the step for edge then uh, jack uh, driver and uh, e driver so all these extensions you can uh, install using this command and uh, uh, how you can uh, launch the uh, runner for executing your project for that you have to give the command like a selenium hyphen uh, side hyphen runner and you need to give the path of the project where you uh, where you saved your project okay so uh, as we know dot side is the extension for the project right so let me check whether it got installed yes so the runner got installed so what is the next step we have to execute the uh, project right so let me check where I install the project. Okay, so save the project. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let me save it in the desktop. Uh, we have this automation demo, right? So let me save inside this. I'm just copying this uh, folder path. And here we need to use a command like a selenium hyphen side hyphen runner space then at the path of the project then this uh, file name dot side okay so before that let me save this file uh, in this folder so, okay so i saved it then let me run this file Uh, okay, what happened? Okay, so here is space is there, right? That's why we got that error. So what I'm going to do is let me add it inside a uh, double quotes. So here we got a error like uh, okay, running uh, C dot side the project auto uh, demo has no test suit defined. Okay so i think uh, for this project we created two tests right so for this uh, auto board demo project we created two tests by but we didn't create any test suite right so what i'm going to do is just go here and select a test suite just click on this okay so what is the name that i need to give i'm going to name it like a demo okay just add it then go to your demo just click on this add a test then I'm going to choose both these uh, tests to add to uh, my test suite. Just click on select and save the project again. Then where I need to save, okay, desktop, automation demo. Let me save it again. We have to replace the file. Yes, that part is done. Just execute the file uh, project again. Running C uh, automation demo project dot site. Okay, so we'll see where it is running or not. Okay, so it tried to execute, but we got an error like Chrome driver could not be found on the current path. Okay, so in the node uh, JS path, you cannot find this uh, particular Chrome driver. That's why we got that error. So what I'm going to do is, let me go to um, desktop. Here inside automation demo, I have the Chrome driver. Okay, so let me copy this Chrome driver.exe. Then I'm going to uh, C drive. Then I'm going to, okay, so here it showed the path, right? Mm, where is that path? C program files, uh, Node.js, right? So C program files okay where is no js okay here you can see the node js so let me put the chrome driver inside this folder continue okay so i put the chrome driver inside this uh, uh, node js uh, uh, base path okay 
then let me try to execute so it is running uh, the project and it is running that demo dot test dot j so it is running the test suite so here you can see it has executed uh, it started the execution of the project so it is first executing the uh, first uh, test case because we haven't selected the parallel execution right so once it got complete i will show you like how you can enable the uh, parallel test execution and here one more thing is like uh, for this particular test case you can see that uh, the value that got that it got enter that is not in a correct way right because there is a change in the uh, uh, format each and every uh, for each and every session there is a change in this uh, format that's why uh, it's showing like that because the first parameter is role in company but for the next session it can be first name or it can be email address okay so each and every time for each session it will get a, a change okay so i will show you if there is any uh, dynamic changes in the form how you can automate uh, this kind of uh, process by uh, providing the valid xpath so in the next video i will show you that so here you can see uh, our test suite got executed so the first test case passed and the second test case uh, failed and it executed in a uh, sequential way right and here you can see how much time uh, it took and uh, it ran all the test suite and here you can see a summary also and number of test suite uh, executed one and it got failed because one test case got failed in this right so let me show you um, how to execute uh, this test case in a uh, parallel way for that what you have to do is go to our test suite just click on these three dots and here just go to setting and in this you need to choose run in parallel okay so running parallel works only in the runner okay so if you are trying to execute it from here it will not work uh, this parallel execution will work only if you are trying to run it using a runner okay first session uh, okay let's keep it like that click on submit save it again uh, go to desktop automation demo save it again okay so let's execute the script let's execute the project that is automation demo project or side click on enter so now the execution uh, should happen in a parallel way it has to open up two browsers uh, parallelly and the execution will uh, happen in a parallel mode okay so here you can see two browsers got opened it's starting rphchallenge.com and uh, here it is again starting the RPA challenge, but it's another test case, right? So this uh, parallel execution will help to reduce the time of execution. And uh, if you have some 40 test cases, and if you want to uh, execute this 40 test case within some uh, 10 minute mean, what you can do, you can create uh, this uh, test suite and you can execute this in a uh, parallel way okay and here you can see the time taken is 36 and for that a sequential execution it took around uh, 72 seconds or something right uh, so that's how this uh, time got uh, reduced if you go for the parallel execution and for this uh, parallel execution also uh, it executed both the files and uh, one failed and one passed okay so that's all for uh, today's session so this is how you need to uh, download the uh, runner for executing your uh, selenium id projects and you can create batch files for uh, running your uh, test suite okay so hope this video is useful and uh, clear for you so if you're going to use selenium id just try to get this uh, uh, selenium site runner and try to execute your uh, project using this uh, runner okay and if you want to integrate that with uh, ci cd pipeline and all uh, this runner is very much helpful okay so if you find this video useful please uh, share this with your friends uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please provide your valuable comments to uh, improve our uh, content okay so thanks for watching the video we'll see you soon with a new uh, video so thanks for watching bye